Hey, what's up, everybody? Rich from Street Gear, Hampstead, New York. Today we're going to review another Retro 9 for the year. Put it on the table for you. Okay, this, this Retro 9 is going to be released uh, September 4th. Um, we've seen uh, quite a few Retro 9s come out this year already. Um, of course, you had the um, Jordan Anniversaries, we had the White University Blues, we had Black uh, the Tangerine. White, black, red has been the white and Carolina, the unpowders. Um, there's been a lot of them. So now we've got black, varsity, red, dark choco. Uh, it's coming out. Um, again, it's another $150 and no retro card. Um, all right, like I said, this is the original. This is originally released in 1993. Um, Jordan retired that year. He didn't wear these shoes. Uh, this is one of the Jordans that he didn't wear. Um, but this shoe also was put on the statue in Chicago um, that honors Mike. Um, so let's give you a little bit of brief of the shoe. You've got, of course, the black charcoal, you know, and the red back here. Uh, the red shows up here in the Jumpman. It also shows back up here on the 23 with the global uh, Jumpman here, as well as the trimming here on the pull tab, and also here on the front, you've got Air Jordan stitch right there. Um, on the bottom, also here on the side here. Of course, this is. Um, this is not 3M, but it's a it's a shorter hair um, new buck than this interior black part. So it's a little more of a feel for the black here than here is on the on the charcoal. Uh, but it looks it looks looks pretty cool. Um, also on the bottom, you've got an all black uh, bottom here. Usually it always comes out contrast with white another color, but this is all black running into the midsole. So that's a pretty nice look. Show you the both both bottoms. Um, you got the red Jumpman inserted in the heel. Uh, of course, this is where all the languages come in again. Um, this is when Brand Jordan started to go global, so they introduced a, a lot of different languages here from French, Spanish, Italian, Russian, Swahili, um, and a couple of sayings that they have on it. Um, you've got the left shoe, which is on this side. You've got um, up here sport, independ independent, freedom, athletic, and hope. And then on the right shoe, you have dedicated, uh, force, intense, freedom, and graceful. Um, some terms that um, was used to describe Nike, um, uh, Mike, sorry, and of course you also see the 1994 in here um, on both cell cells, and that's the bottom. Um, again, like I said, you got the little, like I said, the red, black, and gray, and that's the shoe. Um, also, well, of course, also I always forget to mention they got the diamond tucks that's embedded here on the side panels. I'll mention that again. And um, that's it. I'll show you a couple other shoes. I'll add to this video. This is a um, black Air Max 24-7 that just came in, as well as a blue one right there. There's two good looks on those shoes. And I'll add um, one um, Air Force. I like to use add my Air Force to this video. That's a new colorway, black, green, and red. It's a cool combination. And that's it. I'll put these out of the way for you. I'll let you get the last look at this Jordan before we put it up. The next shoe I'll probably be reviewing. Let me just check. Uh, There's a six rings that's coming out, uh, three of material six rings, and I'm also I think getting a quick strike Griffey that's coming in, uh, that white, black, red. Uh, I think it came out once before this year, but uh, I believe they're, they're making it uh, back out again, so that'll probably be my next two videos. So let's take a look at this and we'll check you out later.